Welcome to PBS Media Shift's Digital Media Brief, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids Coworking and Childcare in San Francisco. I'm Mark Glazer with guests Peter Kafka from Recode, Kim Bowie from Reportedly, Alex Leo from Yahoo, and American and Andrew Lee from American University. There's a boom in venture capital funding for digital media companies such as BuzzFeed, Refinery29, and Vox. But with VC funding comes pressure for growth, and longtime tech blog GigaOM recently closed down. Peter, what's the big attraction to digital media companies from VC people? Uh, I think I think VCs believe that there's a big shakeup happening in media and that uh, old media companies are going away and there's a chance to replace them with new and possibly even bigger media companies and they'd like to fund them. And Alex, what advantage do you think digital native companies have over traditional media? Oh, I mean, there's a lot. First of all, they didn't have pensions, you know, like they don't have that whole <laughs> like exodus of money that's keep going on. But um, getting to start from scratch a lot of the time means that you don't have the technical uh, challenges that one does when you're trying to build off an old CMS from the 90s, like ABC and the Go platform, or you know something that was created for the New York Times early on. You get to create a CMS without the worries of migration and mergers and all of the things that most media companies have to deal with. Kim, what's the cautionary tale from the troubles at GigaOM and Say Media? I think you have to know what you're after and do something different. Um, tech o uh, GigaOM was one of way too many tech blogs, and it didn't do. You need to differentiate yourself in how you produce your content or how you put out your content. Something like that. You need to be a little bit different and set yourself apart from the game, especially in a pack like the tech blog pack. Yeah. And Andrew, do you think this bubble, this tech bubble, will burst again? And what do you think will be the catalyst? If you look at the valuations out there and the number of folks trying things out, I think there's certainly a correction of some significant uh, scale is ahead of us in some way. Um, but I think that you still have your big folks. Uh, I thought that Folks like Snapchat were crazy for not selling out, but it looks like their valuations keep going up. So you're going to have some elites, some premieres that are up there that are going to be still heavily pursued by the big folks like Google and Microsoft and those folks. But um, you have a lot of folks that are probably way overvalued, and a correction is probably in order. Probably not like the 90s, but, but a significant one. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for the Digital Media Brief from PBS Media Shift, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids. Learn more about their pioneering program combining co-working and child care at nextspace.us slash nextkids. We'll catch you next week.